The incident marked a stark contrast to Quincy's previous reputation as a well-behaved student with no criminal history. Quincy claimed that voices had told him to shoot another student who had allegedly been bullying a friend. Quincy detailed that the targeted students had insulted his friend, which he found deeply distressing. According to these court documents, we're learning that that kid had plans to kill two different students on that school. And also, a week before he was arrested, he brought those weapons to school. But fortunately, school leaders found them before he was able to do anything. Quincy's mother had suspected his actions, prompting her to alert the school that her son may have taken kitchen knives with him. Consequently, school resource officers intervened and discovered the extent of his plan, which included a semi automatic 22 caliber handgun, loaded magazines, and additional ammunition. Quincy had planned to shoot the students and subsequently take his own life. Following his arrest, Quincy was charged with first-degree attempted assault, second-degree unlawful possession of a firearm, and possession of a weapon at school. While the heinousness of Quincy's actions is undeniable, the true shock lies in their behavior during the sentencing process.